If you want to have corals or anemones in your saltwater tank, then you're going to need to either borrow, rent, or buy a PAR meter. Apogee makes two different sensors, the original black sensor and the full spectrum blue sensor. According to Apogee, due to supply issues, the original black sensor had to undergo a change in the middle of 2021, and the new sensor is denoted with an X in the serial number and the title. But unfortunately for us in the hobby, the new original X sensor just isn't as good at reading LED lights. You can see it visually represented in these two graphs. The new original X sensor definitely overreads for a lot of the PAR wavelengths. I actually own the original and the original X sensor, so I quickly tested it out on my water box frag system and I found the two to be almost identical with the readings. While undoubtedly more costly, the full spectrum blue sensor gives accurate underwater readings across a wide range of wavelengths. This is going to be your most accurate option. Then you have the Neptune Systems PMK monitoring kit. Apogee actually makes their PAR sensors, and I would say based on the price, the sensor is probably relatively equivalent to the original black sensor from Apogee. Two cool things to note about the Neptune PAR meter. Firstly, it comes with a rock hideout so you can keep it somewhat hidden if you want to leave it in place in your tank. And secondly, it connects to your Neptune Apex so you can easily log the PAR readings. And lastly, you have the Senai Reef monitor, but due to quite a few negative reviews and some videos I watched regarding the accuracy of the PAR meter. I'm not going to include that one in consideration for today. If you're not lucky enough to have a friend who will loan you her PAR meter at the drop of a hat and you don't want to spend several hundred dollars for your own PAR meter, you can purchase a PAR meter from BRS, keep it for up to 60 days, and return it used for only a $100 fee. But if you're like me and would rather take that $100 pseudo rental fee and put that towards the purchase of something I can own forever, then here's how to go about choosing the right PAR meter for yourself. There are four things to consider when choosing the right PAR meter. Number one is price. They range from the mid 200s up to almost $600. Number two is sensor accuracy. The full spectrum blue sensor is definitely going to be your most accurate choice, but the original black sensor is probably going to be close enough for most of our needs. Number three, connection type. You can either get one that plugs directly into your computer via a USB port, or you can pick up one that comes with its own handheld monitor. And consideration number four, Neptune Apex connectivity. If you already have a Neptune Apex, then you might as well just go with their PAR meter. Let's say that you know for sure you want to get the most accurate PAR meter, then you have three options, all of which use the full spectrum blue PAR sensor. The MQ510 comes with a handheld monitor. The PQ510 is Bluetooth enabled and can connect to your Apple or Android device. And the SQ520 connects to your computer via a USB port. But if you want to save some money by using the original black sensor, then you have two options. The MQ210 comes with a handheld monitor, while the SQ420 plugs into your computer via a USB port. If you have a laptop or a computer near your aquarium, then just go with the SQ520 or the SQ420. Either of them are easy to use. You just have to download the Apogee Connect software, plug in your PAR meter, and you're off. But if you'd rather have that handheld monitor, then go with the MQ510 or the MQ210. I don't understand why, but the refraction of light through water can mess up your PAR readings unless you make some sort of calculation adjustment. But if you use the MQ210X or the MQ510, both of which come with a handheld monitor, they will automatically adjust the readings when the PAR meter is underwater. But if you decide to go with the SQ410, the one without a monitor that plugs into your computer, then be sure to select Use Immersion Settings in the Apogee Connect app. For either sensor that uses the handheld monitor, just be sure to select an electric source rather than the sun as the source. Well, which one would I buy? That's actually quite easy because there is only one that I bought before working here at BRS, and that is the SQ420. It's the cheapest, it works well for me, and it plugs into my MacBook Pro. I know that it's probably not the most accurate, but it has worked well enough for me, so I'd say it's accurate enough for my needs. I did also buy the sensor wand and it works great. It keeps my hands totally dry and you can adjust the angle of the sensor. 
But if I were to do it again, honestly, I would just buy a shoulder length glove, do something DIY, or maybe even just get a piece of acrylic with some cable ties to lock it into place. Now it's time to learn how to properly use your PAR meter to tune your lights for maximum coral success. Luckily, I don't have to do that because we already did. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Be well. We'll see you next time.